kal halal yom la yahawo bahasham yahawashai baharakakodash which is ancient paleo hebrew for all praises to yahawah the heavenly father's only hebrew name in the name of yahawashai his son's only hebrew name in the holy spirit which is the wisdom of the holy scriptures I want to say double honors to the apostles and elders of great and so on and salutations to the sincere akim that's pushing the truth of the holy scriptures um, which are of the Negroid, Amerindian, Latino, Hispanic, Native American descent, also the confusion of faces that look like the heathens, so called Caucasian, etc. I want to go into a quick lesson um, pertaining to rehearsing the righteous act um, and growing. All right? Um, you know, the Spirit got on me, uh, I believe, about a year or so ago to do this, this step by step Passover, Passover. Sabbath service, um, bind up or uh, module, or whatever you want to call it, right? And um, another thing that you have Hashem you shall reveal that I should add to it is that uh, we should anoint not only ourselves but the items that we use for the Pesach, right? And spirit led me to this precept. Let me read this one first. This is Judges chapter 5 and verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the place of drawing water there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh. all right so we rehearse in righteous acts to the best of our ability i'm not saying that everything is is um experience right or everything is edifying but if the spirit is on you to do so go ahead all right and finish out this preset it says um even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of of, of his villages in israel then shall the people of Yahweh go down to the gates all right this is um exodus chapter 30 and verse 22 moreover yahweh spake unto moses saying take thou also the principal the principal spices of pure myrrh 500 shekels and sweet cinnamon half much half so much even so 250 shekels of sweet calmus 250 shekels of cassia 500 shekels up to the shekel of, of the sanctuary and oil olive and hin all right so these are a list of some items the most i want you to get for the sanctuary right now so, sometimes it might be difficult to get these these items but you know how about i could make a way it says and thou shalt make an oil of the holy ointment ointment compounded after the art of the apothecary and it shall be a holy anointing oil okay. so the most i was specific about this all right it says and thou shalt anoint the tabernacle as the place of the congregation therewith and the ark of the testimony so for example if a sack is coming up whatever area you might be using you might want to burn some incense and and try to you know um set 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 it as as best as possible Right, because again we reverse the righteous act right it says on the table and all his vessels like like the basins and so forth and the candlestick and his vessels seven candlesticks and the altar of incense and the altar of burnt offering with all his vessels and the labor is a basin and his foot all right so you're anointing all these things with a specific um, anointing oil that Yehovah Hashem Yahushai bestowed, all right, that Yehovah Hashem Yahushai commanded, and thou shalt sanctify them that they may be most holy, and whatsoever touch them shall be holy, all right. So these things not something for any nigger or any family member come and touch and take These things should be put privately until they're ready to be used, all right, because these things these things are are, are for the tabernacle for the sanctuary, all right. Only the men the Lord is supposed to be handling these things. Next you know, you come home a day and you and you mother light up a set of pork candles inside the thing. It's like, oh, I was getting a family dinner, the Thanksgiving and the tarts would be nice. And you like, you know, you're trying to honor your mother, but you know, she messing around, she messing around the most holy things. Alright? It says, verse 30, and thou shalt anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them that they may minister unto me in the priest's office, right? And it says verse 31, uh, before we go to that, anoint Aaron and his son, so, these, so we would be 
we would be the priests in these times and we would be anointed with this oil all right um you could do this before the Pesach or during the Pesach all right depending on how the spirit the spirit lead it says verse 31 and thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel saying this shall be a holy and anointing oil unto me throughout your generations so you see this is a this is a commandment that we should keep throughout the generations all right um just one quick precept the spirit got on me to get uh you know brother's supposed to know this precept um, Yeah, this is Sirach chapter 38 and verse 8. It says, Of such doeth the apothecary make a confection, and of his works there is no end. And from him is peace all over the earth. Because most I made so many herbs and so many things that have been undiscovered. We don't even you don't even know if some of these same grass and the ground, some of these you know non-flowering plants could, could heal something, you know. It says, because scripture says. Um, who, who can search out the works in all time? Right? It says, My son, verse 9, My son, in thy sickness be not negligent, but pray unto Yahweh, and he will make thee whole. So right, so right now, Israel is sick, spiritually and, and physically as well. Right? But this blessing is based on spiritual. So we got to pray to Yahweh Hashem that these, these herbs and these things that we use would work. Right? We have faith that these things would work. It says, Leave off from sin and order thy hands aright and cleanse thy heart from all wickedness. So when you cleanse the, your heart from all wickedness, you cleanse the items and so forth, Yahweh Hashem is going to bless us and you know, um, be holy as He is holy. Alright? With that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Hashem Rakakwadash. Shalom Akiyam. Stay strong. Stay up.